Hi, I'm Chelsea Stratton from Chelsea Stratton Designs, and today we're in my home sewing studio to talk about a heart pillow tutorial. You may have seen this heart pillow tutorial on my blog in recent years, uh, but today I'm really excited to share a video going over the steps to make this fun pillow for your home. Okay, so let's get started on the very first steps of this heart pillow tutorial. First off, I'm just going to go over the fabric requirements for you. So I actually uh, like to do this pillow scrappy. You can do it as just one solid print if you like, but you will need 12 squares. So you can choose all the same print squares, but I did three different designs for mine, but you will need 12 pink squares measuring three and a half inches by three and a half inches, as well as 12 background low volume squares that measure three and a half inches as well. Then you are going to need six two and a half inch print squares and six two and a half inch uh, low volume background squares. You will then need one and a half inch by six and a half inch strips to go in between your heart blocks. And then for the ends of that row, you're going to need two, two and a half inch by six and a half inch strips. And then for the very end, for the top and bottom borders, uh, you're going to need two six and a half inch by 30 and a half inch strips. And I'm gonna talk more about this later because you will obviously want to measure the size of your finished block at that point, just to make sure that you are getting the correct size um, that you're cutting. Okay, so the first actual step that we're going to take in making this pillow is we're going to need to make some half square triangles. So you're going to want to take a print square and a background square, and you're going to put them right sides together, and you're going to draw your lines on the, on the low volume square, and you'll sew on those two drawn lines, and afterwards you're going to cut in the center of this to give you uh, your two half square triangles. So afterwards, you are going to have 24 half square triangles. I also just want to note a couple of things. If you want a more detailed video showing how to make half square triangles, I'll pop up a link on this video to a video of my mom's to show you how to do that. Also, just a tip because I want to give as many tips as possible. When I made these, I used the diagonal seam tape by Allison of Cluck Cluck Sew, and that saves me a little bit of time so that I'm not drawing lines on all of my low volume squares. Okay, so the next step is I'm going to show you how to make the heart block. So let me move these aside just really quickly. and I am going to lay out this block for you. So since I did scrappy, I'm going to kind of try to mix my pieces up. So you're going to do this by rows and I suggest sewing them by rows. I think that that's easier. So you're going to need four half square triangles for the top row, just like this. And then you are going to need on your second row You'll lay them like this and you're going to actually use the solid two, two and a half inch squares for this part. And we're going to lay them like that for our second row. So you'll need two solid prints and two half square triangles in the second row. And then for the last row, you're going to need your last two half square triangle units as well as two low volumes. So all together, one heart block is going to use eight half square triangles, two low volume two and a half inch squares, and two print two and a half inch squares. 
Okay, so once you have your heart block laid out, you will sew them together in rows and then you're going to sew those rows together and you're going to make three heart blocks for your pillow. And sewing together your rows, I mean sewing the whole top row going this way together and then this whole middle row and this whole bottom row. Uh, I feel like that will save you some time and when you are done sewing all of your rows together, you will have a finished heart block just like this. And you're going to make three of these heart blocks for your pillow top. Okay, so once you have finished making your three heart blocks, we are going to lay out the entire pillow top so that we can sew it together. So first you're going to lay your heart blocks out in a row. And after you've done that, you are going to take the two one and a half inch by six and a half inch strips and set them in between the heart blocks. Now, just always remember, you always want to measure these. Roughly these heart blocks should measure six and a half by eight and a half inches. Uh, but just to be sure, always measure just in case you need to change the size of your sashing sometimes. Uh, that happens and that's okay. So put those in between the heart blocks. And then once you're done with that, you are going to need to place your two and a half inch by six and a half inch strips on each end of this. And then you're going to lay your six and a half inch by 30 and a half inch strips. And the same we, in the same thing with these top and bottom borders, uh, you're going to want to measure the finished size of this strip first. So you're going to sew this entire row together and you're going to press towards the sashing. And then uh, afterwards, I would measure just in case, and then you will sew these top and bottom borders to the center heart block. And once you're done, you are going to have a finished heart pillow top. Okay, so once you have your finished pillow top, and this was one that I had made before, you'll notice it's a little bit different than the pieces I used to show you how to make the pillow top. But I'm excited now because I'll have one for both of my girls to use. So this worked out perfect. So after you're done, I love to get my pillow tops quilted. So you're going to, uh, what, whichever way that you prefer to get it quilted, but you're going to need to layer your pillow top, your batting, and your muslin together. And if you're quilting it at home, I think straight lines is beautiful. That's what I did on my very first one, but just however you prefer to get it quilted, that will look amazing. And after you have that done, you will have your pillow top that is already quilted. Okay, so I just wanna talk real quick about the backing. I did just a simple envelope backing. I am going to have Billy put up a link to a video that my mom has that will show you more how to do pillow backing. She, has, she talks about doing a zipper as well, so that might be an option for you. Uh, but then you can uh, bind your pillow and there you have it. You have this fun heart pillow tutorial. I made this specifically for a standard pillow size for my daughter's twin bed and I really, really love it. So I hope you enjoyed this step-by-step -step heart pillow instruction here with me today. And I also hope that you will enjoy making it. To get the free PDF download, you'll need to go to my blog, chelseastratton.wordpress.com. You will also be able to find a link to that in the description below this video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like or share it with a friend. Thanks so much for stopping by.